Hello. Well. Um, yes. So. We're going to be developing some game AI over the weekend of the 25th, 26th of October 2014. And I thought, um, why not make it a bit of a tutorial as well? So I will be editing. Uh, so I'll be live streaming the actual development tomorrow, the 26th. But uh, I thought I'd put a video up just to sort of explain what we're going to be doing in the material so you can see if you want to look at it as a um, as a tutorial series so essentially what we're going to do I thought I'd just draw you a couple of pictures here um, this is a game jam uh, this weekend for Epic are running it on their forums and the theme is bump in the night obviously a Halloween kind of theme and so I thought well what what would be an interesting thing to do for an AI tutorial that kind of followed that theme and I came up with this quite strange idea so in, inspired by I saw a let's play of somebody playing The Walking Dead a few weeks ago and there was a scene in that where uh, some of the characters basically tried to blend in with zombies and there's a kind of you know a, a, a thing where if you have a zombie film a lot of the times the survivors try and blend in with the zombies to not be eaten by them and I thought well that would be an interesting thing to do um, so I came up with this basic idea so if you think of this rectangle um, here as I just lost my mouse case there we go if you think of this rectangle as um, essentially an area, a play field, then the bottom part of this, this section here, I'm thinking this would be kind of a safe area. And the idea is that there's a, a whole bunch of essentially entrances around this play field. Um, so these are kind of these would be doors to you know shops and houses and those kind of things. So there might be a few along the sides as well. Haven't quite figured out how the play field will look, but essentially what they'll do is um, survivors. Let's do the survivors like this. Actually, I'll just make a blob for a survivor. Right, so survivors randomly spawn at these positions. And what you'll what what you'll have to do is that you'll have to uh, so the survivors their intention is to obviously make it to this exit here. Hard doing this with a mouse, but there you go. Um. So so the survivors' goal is to oh, I've lost my mouse cursor again. <laughs> oh man, this is hard. Okay, so keep concentrating this time so the survivors role is to um, get to the exit uh, X oh I really should have done this with my graphics tablet but there you go so the survivors role is to get to the exit by pretending to be a zombie and the idea is that there's a whole bunch of zombies kind of milling around this area I'm thinking that this area is going to be essentially modelled on part of my university where I work. Um, so these zombies will be kind of ex-students kind of thing. So they're just going to kind of wander around in different directions, you know, doing zombie things, uh, bumping into each other, which is the whole bump in the night thing. And you will play as um, Frankenstein. Uh, this is you. And what you you will do is as as you're playing. Oh God, I've lost my cursor yet again. Where are you? Oh, there we go. You will be able to 
shamble around as well. You're playing as Frankenstein, right? The, the zombies won't eat you because you're kind of already dead. You're just animated in that way. So they kind of think you of you as a zombie. Um, but what you'll do is you can only move really slowly, and they can only move really slowly. But what you can do is you can nudge the zombies. You can basically bump into the zombies and herd them towards the survivors. So the survivors are going to be AI guys kind of drifting slowly towards the exit, trying to avoid the zombies. The zombies are going to be kind of randomly moving around, and you're going to be trying to herd the zombies into the survivors. So the idea is that if a survivor hits a zombie, so this is a survivor, just try a bit bigger. Right, so if the survivor hits a zombie, the zombie will then have a chance to essentially decide to eat him. If a, a zombie decides to eat a, a survivor, then other zombies will be attracted by that noise. So essentially, you, I, I'm not sure whether the game idea will work out, but that's essentially how it will work. So uh, we'll have an AI, f so we'll bi basically have a zombie. Oh, hell. And we'll have survivor. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to redo this. Damn it. Give it all. No, well, oh, keep going, keep going. Worst start ever. Um, okay, I can't spell Survivor either. Probably American spelling. I blame Americans, yeah. Good plan. Uh, and you will have you. Um, obviously, the you part will be the easiest bit because we're just going to have a character that can move around slowly. Uh, and obviously we're going to do all this in Unreal Engine 4 as per the other kind of tutorials. So we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first thing tomorrow morning, essentially, um, because I've spent all day running around, so I don't really feel like jumping into it today. But I wanted to put this video up so I can point people to the fact that we're going to be live streaming it all day tomorrow. Um, so it's going to be a 24-hour game jam not the kind of almost three days that everybody else has had and it's likely going to look pretty terrible when i finished but hopefully you'll be able to play it and have a good laugh at my expense um so that's the idea uh the theme bump in the night i'm not sure what kind of zombie um characters we'll be able to get i know that mixamo character packs got a female zombie in it whether she's actually kind of worth having i don't know um and i'm not what sure what i'll use as a stand-in for frankenstein maybe one of the mix of my characters as well so you'll have to be a bit sort of uh, imaginative in your how you view this thing but hopefully that gives you an idea of what i'm thinking of essentially kind of a walking dead zombie-esque kind of zombie herding game Okay, so uh, thanks for watching this, and hopefully I'll my uh, awesome drawing skills haven't put you off the idea of it yet. I shall be um, trying to do better when we would actually get on with the series. Okay, thanks guys.